I did the craziest thing. I traveled all the way to England just to attend the National Shire Horse Show. It was life-changing. This is episode five, and it's all about one of my favorite parts of any horse show, the barn walkthrough. On the way there, we ran into this great couple and their gorgeous Shire. She was actually the one who came off her horse in episode two during the novice riding class. She was okay and could laugh about it. Her husband was hilarious and was giving her a hard time making sure everybody knew who she was. That's her right there. You can see her battle scars. Are you okay? Yeah, all good, thank you. Yeah. Got back on in the end. He just didn't fancy it today. It was his day. Right. how it goes. We had a great time chatting with them for a bit. It was the tail end of winter, so all the shires are really furry for the most part. And I kind of love how they just embrace it, even for a show. It gives them so much character and personality and makes you want to put your hands all over them and give them big, cuddly hugs. I love it. The National Shire Horse Show grounds is huge, with two main arenas, three to four warm-up arenas, turnouts, and one big barn that's broken up into three sections of stalls. This is where the horses live for a few days before, during, and after the show. And this is why I love the barn walkthrough. This Dapple Grey was stunning. As a spectator, you can watch from a distance, but here in the barn, I can meet them up close. Shires have such an incredible aura about them. It's overwhelming to be in their presence, but when they're as gorgeous as this guy was, it just makes me melt. I could have hung out with him all day. This guy you might recognize from episode three, the baby's class, and oh my gosh, did I love him. So cute and goofy, and this is what I was talking about, embracing the furry. They actually put hairstyling mousse in their hair to give them more body. I kind of love it. Horse after horse, it was so fun to interact with each and every one. They're all the same, but different. Uh, I mentioned a Shire's aura. It's true, they have such a great feel about them that's so similar, and yet their own personality as well. This guy was great. But I couldn't stay away from this guy. I think I came back to him like five times. Dapple Greys just have one over on me. I cannot resist them. Uh, definitely one of my favorite moments of the whole show. The teams of people working on each horse was really entertaining to watch. So many different ways to do what they do. Each one with their own tricks of the trade, their own technique and approach, many of which was passed down. So much of it is personal preference and taste, and it gives a great variety within the standard. Most of these teams are just families farm families that have raised shires for over a century and they are continuing the tradition. It wasn't out of place to see grandparents, parents, and grandchildren all working together. Dapples on a horse are a sign of a healthy animal. Black dapples, bay dapples, gray dapples. It's just beautiful. I'll say this again like I did in the other videos. Tails are not docked in Great Britain, they are shaved. These are working horses and that's done for the functionality of the work that they do. These two are part of a team. They pull and their tails can be hazardous. If tails were to get caught in the rigging, it could be disastrous. It's done for the safety of the drivers as well as the horses. If it's not your favorite look, 
well, then when you drive a team of horses, then you can risk your life and the life of the horses. But these people choose to love life and love their animals, so they keep them nice and tidy. My Shire horse, Apollo, has a beautiful, long, thick tail. I'll never shave it. But that's because he doesn't pull. And if he did, then I would shave it, because I care about him too much to risk him getting hurt for just his looks. Very much like these caring horse owners. Like I said, they are part of a team, so they want to make them look as similar as possible. The more alike they look, the better for the show ring. They are almost ready, and boy, do they look great. This guy's mane is so thick. Shires have really coarse manes. I love it. Even though his mane has been braided and tied up in little ribbons, there's still so much of it left over. He looks like a lion. And this shot is kind of fun because you can see the baby powder that's splashed around the legs. It's one of the tricks for getting a Shire horse show ready. They apply baby powder to the feathers to make them look even brighter and more white. It also makes them look fluffier and thicker. They all had, not just this guy, they all had the most spectacular beards too, I love it. And the tricolored look as well is one of my favorites. Bay that fades to black at the knee just before the sparkling bright white feather. He was so gorgeous. You can also see the sprinkles of baby powder here on the ground. I knew about that trick before I went to England, but this is kind of fun too. They're about to put the baby powder on his blaze to make it a little brighter as well. Tricks of the trade. I'll have to try that next time I show Apollo. And now he's ready to go. Show ready. Everybody was so nice and willing to share their knowledge and give advice. Decades of love and care for the breed. This lady was kind enough to explain how she makes this insanely intricate braid. It was thicker than a baseball bat. It looks awesome. To the bottom of the door. Okay. Then the bit that you plaited down, put that on down. Two bits each side, you split in half and plait each one of those down. Okay. Then you sew each one together, they're all sewn together. Oh, that's down, a stitching. Downwards. 
and then when they're all sewn together and hanging down here, you turn them up, turn the top in, and then you sew it all the way down there to hold it into place and across the top and down here. Oh my goodness. And then you do the bob at the end. Right. How long does it take you? About an hour to do the tail. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And this lady here did the bob. I did. You did. Oh, I did the tail and did the bob. <laughs> These two twins were all white and they looked like they were out of a fairy tale. I get to meet them a little better the following day. I'll have that in a future video. I was like a kid at a candy store. Everywhere I looked, an even more beautiful horse would just pop out of thin air. It's wonderful. I thought this was really interesting and I'd never seen anything like it. At first I couldn't tell what she was doing until I got a little bit closer. Lots of draft horses have studs on their shoes to give them traction in the soft or muddy earth of England or wherever they might be. These ones were like soccer boots with interchangeable studs. She's removing the cleat with pliers and then stuffing what looks like a piece of torn paper towel so that the mud and the rocks don't get jammed up in there and it's available to use the next time they need to screw in the little metal cleat. I thought it was so cool. Functional, but also much more comfortable for the horse when he's not working. And man, those are huge feet. I thought Apollo had big feet, but those are huge. Here you can see where they're storing some of the really beautiful two-wheel carts that we'll see in a future episode as well. Those are really cool. I was on horse overload. I felt I could have died happy at that moment. So many beautiful animals and the great people who love and care for them all working hard for the sake of celebrating the breed, honoring the tradition, and how much fulfillment it brings into our lives. Not just as horse owners but also as people who want to come and get a taste of what it's like to live life with these majestic wonderful beasts. Such an amazing experience to be there and witness all the time and effort it takes to put on such an amazing, wonderful event for everybody to enjoy. The horses are treated like royalty and doted over with great patience and love. The crowds cheer and laugh or ooh and ah as their favorites would go by. It was such a worthwhile thing and I would highly recommend it to anybody who's considering going. Well, that about does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be posting more videos of the National Shire Horse Show in the next few days. I plan to have an episode for each class as well as a longer episode with all my favorite moments of the show put together in one video. Hope you're having a great day. We haven't got the man.